Hi Pisces, thank you so very much for joining me today. I hope that you are well. This is a general reading for any sun, moon, or rising Pisces sign. We'll take a look at the cards. We'll get a sense of the information, energies, and insights for you. Okay, so we have the Page of Pentacles, we have the Two of Wands, and we have Judgment, the Major Arcana. So the Page of Pentacles, this youthful page, is holding the pentacle right before his eyes as if he's observing it, studying it, taking it all in. And he may be thinking to himself, what do I need to do to learn in order to create more pentacles to create um, more stability and more knowledge and more application within my life. And so when we think of the page of pentacles, we think of characteristics of someone who is studious, someone who has the desire and the will to learn, to um, bring in new knowledge, to do the work that it takes behind the scenes in order to get up to speed on, on different topics or different areas or new things within your life. Pages are kind of right behind aces in terms of a new opportunity, a be new beginning, something new coming to you. So here's this page who is studying, who is perhaps learning and is an apprentice and is learning how to become more wise, smarter, um, hardworking. And you know, with the pentacle, um, the pentacle way, as I often call it, it's a matter of being grounded and, and using your common sense and, you know, putting your head down into the book and, or onto your computer and doing the research, getting your facts doing it from a earnest place, which is the desire to acquire knowledge. So if you've been thinking about learning how to sail or learning how to mountain climb, whatever it may be, there's a part of you that has to start the process of learning about that, either joining a class, hiring an instructor, watching videos on YouTube, reading articles, learning about the equipment, so it's this process of study and, um, again, gaining knowledge so that you can attempt something new. So with the page, he's, um, he's going to, to do the work that's necessary to get there. Perhaps maybe not in a rush to make things happen immediately and is learning the lesson that sometimes, uh, slow and steady is going to win the race taking your time, having the patience, putting in the energy and the effort and the focus will get to you, uh, to becoming more profitable or successful in whatever new place that you're putting your energies into. So with that, here's the two of wands and the two of wands holds the world in his hand, looking out in between the two wands looks like in his patio in his back of his home across the water across the lands and he's thinking to himself what's next for me what new vista new what new frontier what new enterprise am I gonna bring into my life and what can I do to expand my horizons it's really the initial stage of manifesting so the two of wands stands here with the, with the vision, with the inkling that's running through, like, I think I might want to do this. And at that starts the ball rolling. And when we see twos, we know that twos often involve decisions. And so you might have to prioritize how to gain new information, how to move in a new direction, how it's going to impact people within your life how it's going to impact you. So you may have to think quite a bit behind what your vision is, where you want to go, where you're headed. Coupled with that, here's the, as you're thinking of manifesting and building something new, creating something new, here's the study part of it. 
Here's the effort put into learning how to get going in that matter. And then here, tying everything together really is the judgment card. I love the angel blowing the fanfare. Uh, I think it's a Neil Young song, song after the gold rush, rush and how they're blowing the fanfare. So if you ever hear that song, think of that. And here it is. It, it's the horns blowing. You hear the horn. You're taking the call. You hear the call. And what's happening is that the people who have been below the surface here in these coffins awaken and they rise and they greet the horn. They greet the call. They greet the angel. The opportunity for you to start to explore your highest self. What in your life is going to bring you to your highest purpose? Is it a certain type of relationship? Is it a certain type of career? Is it having wonderful hobbies and being successful at those hobbies? Is it inventing or is it leaving a legacy of service and of inspiration to others? So judgment is about a chance to be reborn, a chance for you to let go of everything that happened before. You don't have to keep paying the piper. You can let go of what has happened before. And from this day forward, you can envision and you can think about what do you need to do to feel alive again? When I see judgment, I often think of sometimes we get stagnant in our life and this can be symbolic of feeling a certain type of death in your living, that something is missing. And it often is, it's not allowing yourself to hear the call and to make moves in that direction. So judgment is a sense of cleansing. There's a sense of, uh, again, you doing what you need to do with this input coming in from the universe. You know uh, intuitively that maybe change has to occur and that you're going to have to do what you need to do to transform your life and to rise again. There's no cap on how many times we can do this. You can continue to rise uh, and to find what your purpose may be. So I really feel that this is a, it's a kind of a big idea day because it's judgment, which is you, you just know you have that sense. You have the epiphany that I need to, uh, you know, I need to get out in the sunshine. I need to make things happen in my life. I need to feel alive again and I can't keep bringing my baggage with me. I'm going to have to drop the bags and give myself a chance to be reborn. And the two of wands is the manifesting the vision. And here is the earnest, sincere desire to do what you need to do in order to bring things further. So really lovely cards. Let's see what we have in terms of uh, numerology. We have 20, 22, and 23. 23 reduces to five and five is about a new cycle. It can be about challenges. Often it's about flexibility and having to adapt. And then finally, let's choose an Oracle card for an affirmation for the day. Family. This situation is rooted in an emotional experience with a family member, which we can help you to understand and heal. In your mind and heart, surround this person, yourself, and the experience with calming blue light and many angels. Be open to the gifts within the situation and allow yourself to feel peace. Well, an interesting card and interesting for those that are in a family and when you get the call and when you feel the need to change or to move in a different direction you have to listen to your family you have to listen to their input they may not always agree other times they'll support you 100 percent so 
all of these things are interwoven as we go through our life and as we we have these times when we feel that we have to do something we feel compelled to do it we have to maybe explain ourselves later so i would also say in terms of family to look to family for support as well find strength within your family so friends this is what i have for you for the day i hope that you found something helpful here if you did subscribe like this video, share this video, leave a comment below. Have a good one, and I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks so much.